you, Don. He's unraveling. And we can't let that happen. Listen, Joe needs to know that we're a team. We're all in this together. And if he thinks he can just walk away, then you pay him a visit. Easy. Since when was anything easy in my life? Hey, come on, we can... What? Fight it? Yeah, right, look at me. Sell by date, 1986. Sort of. Yeah, well, see what you do, right? Good. Carl's going to pay him a visit. Carl, but. I should go. Let me talk in that. I can't so. Can't we do a better job? Why? How can I help? Well, like I said on the phone, you're the bait. You still going tonight? Yeah. Well, let me come with you. No. Dave, look at me. I'm in your corner. Yeah? Not ready to uh, throw it in just yet, then, eh? Undefeated. I'm scared. Asked me to fix it before. I was owned by Keith Richards. Dogs bollocks in its day. I worked for the mechanics, huh? Tough wearing interior. 
was his age very well. Mm. Looks good on the outside, but inside, trouble. You really want to talk about cars, Joe? Did you think we'd just let you walk away? Jack Stall was coming tonight. I made up my mind. You know, you can't keep living in the past. Sometimes the only choice is to scrap heap. You giving up? That's not like you, Joe. Huh? You work on this car and you get it purring again just like a tiger. Because you're not a quitter. Yeah. I quit. a place. We kick off. Hmm. Hi, I'm Don. Let me just say, first off, listen if you want to. Talk if you want to. So. I'm stage two prostate cancer. I've had it removed. I've had the radiation. And now I'm stage three. I've had mine removed by surgery. I'm on the hormone therapy now. Got balls like two peas in a rucksack. <laughs> Advanced prostate cancer. I've had radiation, three additional tumors in my pelvis. Hormone therapy. Now I'm on a dear old friend chemotherapy. Throw in the kitchen sink at it, as they say. Don's got the lowdown. What he doesn't know about it ain't worth knowing. So Dave here is a, uh, your personal trainer, right? Uh, boxing trainer. Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, the, the Pink Ring, Houston. A lot of gay guys right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pink Ring, right. <laughs> I'm quite sporty. Used to be at West Ham. As the mascot. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about this support group is you can ask anything you want, OK? Because, you know, chances are one of us would have been through it. So, you know, we're here to help. We're here to support you. Well, uh, I, uh, I mean, I've been reading about sexual problems, you know, I might not be able to get it up after the op. Viagra, vacuum pumps, incontinence. I just don't get it. You know, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm, I don't smoke, I run, I do everything right. I, I... It's not fair. It's not fair, I don't want it. Sorry. Sorry? We don't use that word here. <sighs> now, 
Now, there's a lot of crap talked on the net these days, quacks and idiots, telling you to take this and take that. But if you want the proper facts, you'll get them here, right? Okay. I mean, mainly, we just talk. We talk about how we feel about it. Uh -huh. You know, one in eight men will get prostate cancer. And that figure's going up. My older brother had it. And, uh, well, because it runs in the family, the doctors advised me to have a checkup. I had no symptoms. I was 41 when I found out. You I mean, told me you were 35. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I thought it was an old man's disease. <laughs> <laughs> then you get told. Prostate cancer often gets black guys younger, and we're more likely to get it. Well, we all know that um, men find it hard talking about these things, uh, you know, to their wives, to their families, their friends. Hot flashes, incontinence. Don't worry about that, it's a piece of piss, you'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Mood swings. Men don't want to talk about that stuff. Mm. Ah. This is Alison. Uh, her dad, Jack, used to come to the group before... He died. Uh, three weeks ago. Anyway, look, brought some cake. Oh, hey, Nigella. <laughs> right, and Joe? Uh, no. Joe comes here, well, did. Um, he was very close with Jack and it's, uh, it's hit him very hard. Do you want to come and yeah. take a seat? Yes. Um, my dad was always on the go, always. Loved his footy, his walks, his old car. To think he'd have cancer. And so advanced. I mean, just a few months after his 65th birthday, he was, he was driving his beloved old Jag all around the Lake District. <laughs> He sent us a postcard. I'm on top of the world. I mentioned a few aches and pains, but you put that down to old age. This is Joe. All right. Be ignored it, as you do. shake off the pain. So he went to the docks and bang, it was like a truck hitting him. It spread too far by him. It's a difficult thing to beat if you don't catch it early. Jack forced me to go and see the dock. I mean, I was peeing three or four times a night. I was lucky. Jack saved my life. I'm... I can see my grandchildren grow up. Hey, don't you dare feel sorry. Dad never did. He was angry, yeah. Because people can be so bloody ignorant about it, they make stupid jokes about it. Yeah. But he wouldn't want to see you like this, Joe. I know. Never give up, right? I really wanted to come. I, I just knew he wasn't going to be here. We're glad you're here, Joe. You don't have to do it alone. I'll fix your dad's car. Yeah. He wanted you to have it for all the support you gave him. I don't know what to say. What do you mean, um, falling apart, leaking, breaking down? What's the matter? On a good day? On a good day when the uh, sun is shining and the uh, country lanes, the stones are playing on the stereo and the uh, gleaming paint work. It's unbeatable. Come here. 
三十。